first poem I ever wrote that I read to anyone, naturally, it was for a girl. And <laughs> thinking back, it's really cringe, cringe, you know what I mean? It was like we was on the estate and I was, I, I read it out, I was holding it on the paper. It was my cousin's fault. He kind of goaded me into it. He's like, no, trust me, she's going to like it. It's really cringy. I don't, I don't. But that's the first time I, I remember writing a poem, which was like consciously, consciously, I wanted to write and I wanted to share it with someone. No, I didn't get a, I mean, that was the first of many attempts to get I never got really <laughs> So obviously I, I hadn't I hadn't perfected my craft then. Um. Yeah, I started writing when I was about seven, and I only I don't remember doing it. I don't remember like why I wanted to do it, but I remember um, being angry about what I was writing about, and it was about I wanted a cat, and my dad didn't want a cat, so I rhymed cat and fat and insulted him. <laughs> I was like a really good first rhyme, and then I just carried on. So I've got. I've got folders and folders and books of poems that I've written from the age of seven up until now. I don't know why, I just loved it. Every time I sort of read a book or thought of a new idea or spoke to someone about something, I just wanted to summarise it and the summary was always in a little poem for some reason, like everything. When I started writing, I think a big part of that was just about making friends. Like when I went to secondary school, I went from a school that was about 40 people, um, and you obviously knew every one of them, to a school that was about 800 and something, and I didn't know a single person there. So I think starting to, starting to write and to spend all of this time really carefully articulating and crafting these things, which basically like just um, sum up everything that you care about and believe most deeply. You're kind of just saying, right, this is who I am. I think it was a compulsion, to be honest. I mean, I love, I, I grew up listening to a lot of folk music, um, a lot of rap music, music in general. I didn't really come from a, a literature-based family, but there was always a lot of music, and I was always drawn to songwriting and, and to lyrics. So I think that kind of turned me on, but I didn't particularly know I was writing poetry until a lot later on. I didn't know really what poetry was. I didn't engage with it at school. I was just writing in a way that made sense to me as a 14-year-old kid. And also, the great thing with poetry is that you can hide a lot of your feelings and a lot of your truth in metaphor. And that's why I felt safe uh, doing that. You know, the more abstract the writing, um, the more surreal, the safer it became. It started as a way to kind of get over my loneliness in those classrooms and also as a way of learning English. So my mother would take us to the library um, every Saturday and we'd go there, we'd take like 10 books up because that was the maximum you could take out and we'd just read like that entire week and I would learn by just copying everything that I kind of like saw in those, in those books. So I was a reader and I still am a reader before I'm a writer in that sense. Yeah. 